All right, we're gonna talk about dollies real quick. We are outside of Erie, Pennsylvania. We just went to Ohio again to pick up something else. So as you guys know, we have a normal car tow dolly. Um, we have a dilemma though. In a week, we are headed to Florida to pick up our RV golf cart and bring that back home. If I tow the van with the dolly and hook it up to the RV, I have no way to tow the golf cart. So with this, these are actually really, really rare and they're super expensive normally. Uh, this guy, as unfortunate as it is, his wife is dying of lung cancer and they had to sell their RV and their dreams of going cross country with their golf cart and RV are no longer happening. So he was short selling this to try to help with offset some of the costs of what they're going through. Uh, I did not lowball him at all. I paid what he was asking because he was asking nothing for it compared to what it's worth. Drove out to Ohio and picked it up. So what's awesome about this is this is four and a half foot by 100. So it should fit a lifted golf cart. It has the ramps that go with it still. This is still a swivel deck. A lot of these that we found online that are about $10,000 don't even have a swivel deck and I paid nothing near that. He just redid tires with 14 ply and upgraded to 15 inch rims instead of 14 so when you're on the side of the road what we found with our dolly is nobody carries 14s you have the special order of that is a trailer sized tire that is available at pretty much any tire shop across america so the official name of what this is is a tandem tow dolly when we're trying to figure out what the hell we saw one of these at a campsite we're like what is that how do we get one we could not figure out where to find them because we didn't know what they're called we're, we were typing in like dolly with trailer cat uh, like a uh, deck over dolly they're called a tandem dolly and this is the na number one brand tandem tow if you go online this model starts at about twelve thousand dollars one with a 10 foot is like fifteen thousand dollars this we paid nothing near that but just to put in perspective of what you're getting so if you can find one that's cheap you should buy it i did have to kind of rig up kind of a sketchy system here which is not ideal but it works uh, because of the way that the length brings that down so to raise it up enough so it doesn't just dig into the ground we have to uh <laughs> go with this which i'm sure is dot approved and another thing is we're about to stop at a walmart to try to find a way to go from the uh, six-way to a four-way because this does have brakes. I mean, put it in perspective, what I paid for this is less than a normal tow dolly with brakes. Uh, amazing deal. So let's get some uh, electrical equipment over at Walmart and get back on the road. All right, so we just left a Walmart in Erie, Pennsylvania, and our plan is not working as we thought, so we had to buy some crap. All right, so this is the plan for overall. I bought a set of trailer lights that we're gonna wire on and zip tie to the trailer for now. But what I also bought is a four-way. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna mount the male end of one of these to here so that anytime we tow with this type of vehicle, it'll be here, I can just plug this into it and it will only have the four-way wired so the next time we use this I'm gonna have to run to a store near home and do that but for now we're not gonna use any of this we're just gonna hook up these portable trailer lights that have magnets find a spot on here somewhere zip tie them so they don't come flying off and uh, just get home so we're gonna show you doing that All right this is some redneck ingenuity if I've ever seen it so first problem is this swivels back and forth like crazy so we're trying to figure out how to make it so to keep it from doing that. Still haven't figured that out yet, 100%. Either way, we have zip ties to the front and then to here to keep these from moving at all because it bounces so fucking much. Same on this one. That's on there pretty tight. Of course, it has lights, but we can't use it because we don't have the right connector and nobody's open to, uh, like, tractor supply and all that is not open. So, nobody has a male seven-way at this time of night, and we still have to drive five hours home. So, next plan is I gotta figure out how to keep this from swiveling. All right, so, <laughs> what, a, what a contraption, but it works. So, initially, I was like, I'll just take the two, there's chains to hold the underside of the car so it doesn't fall off the tray. 
and I'll put it underneath, but the problem is is that it literally just lets it seesaw back and forth. So we have a strap from one side of the tray to the front, to the other side of the tray to the front, and then our zip ties onto these to keep forward and backward motion from knocking them off. So let's get on the road and see how long this lasts. Alice did a wonderful job zip tying all of our wires so that hopefully we don't lose anything.